Hey ladies, welcome back to In Between Friends. My name is Rebecca and this is Erin and we are here to talk about everything pregnancy. And I say everything because we're doing something a little different um, in this vlog and we're kind of excited about it. Mm -hmm. Special guest, rock on! Um, we've got um, a question from a viewer that I'm going to let Erin share with you, but it is really posed not to us. No. Hence the special guest that you will not see. Special but guest will hear. is the great and powerful Oz that will remain oh. behind a curtain. Oh, that's brilliant. Hmm, Love it. I'm totally brilliant these days. Take it away, Mamacita. Alrighty. So the question is, how is my pregnancy affecting my husband emotionally? Did I'm you? not an expert on this. No. <laughs> no, quite honestly, right? I mean, we're not men. And I've posed my own questions in regards to my, my husband and, and my pregnancy. Um, so I think I, I mean, I kind of, yeah. some of these words in here, key words, kind of trigger some thoughts in my head. <laughs> um, so we're going to introduce, again, the great and powerful Oz will remain behind the curtain. My husband is going to help us today. And he's going to help us answer some of these, or answer this question. So, ultimately... Jeffrey, my love, <laughs> tell me, has my pregnancy affected you emotionally? The honest truth is no, it hasn't. <laughs> I know it might sound kind of cold for some people, but I'm not carrying the boys. And yeah. it's just, you're carrying them. Yeah. I'm doing exactly what I've been doing and it hasn't changed. And I've seen you change. Yeah. <laughs> I love this answer because, quite honestly, if he were to say something else, I would call him a liar. <laughs> Watch our previous vlog, people. Tammy the Dragon. I would stare at him while he was asleep like, why don't you know what's going on? Why don't you feel the way I do? So, uh, expand on that a little bit, though. Because you do worry about some things. You just don't necessarily, you don't worry about my pregnancy. My pregnancy issues aren't your pregnancy issues, uh, aren't your issues. I worry about your comforts. And if that's making dinner, rubbing your feet, making sure the car is washed, all the little errands and the odds and ends that you can't necessarily do anymore, putting your socks on. Because <laughs> she can't reach her feet. <laughs> Things like that have changed. The, the care aspect of it, but emotionally, no. <laughs> <laughs> and which, that's what I love, because right when I saw this word emotion tied to husband, which i.e. meant men, I was like, do they have any? Okay, but let's just put a disclaimer, because there are some no, men no. who are really in touch with their emotions. Yes. Well, and my husband is very in touch with his emotions, quite honestly. I mean, he is he is a sensitive, sensitive man. But my issues with his pregnancy yeah. Yeah, yeah, are yeah. not his issues. And he does worry about stuff. What stuff do you worry about for yourself in regards to these boys? Being an excellent father, mm -hmm. not making the mistakes that my dad made with me, and being a provider, mm -hmm. yeah. maintaining my relationship with you mm -hmm. when the boys are here, and making sure that I give them, each one of them, their individual time, and being a good dad, and being a good husband, and a provider, all in one. Yeah. yeah. And working. No pressure. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just not being here. <laughs> because that doesn't strip him of his sensibilities or his sensitivity right. and his ability to have emotions, but they're just not going to be the same in regards to this pregnancy. No. And I think maybe the, the, the word that we're struggling with with the question is pregnancy. Yeah. Because if it was, how, how is my husband being affected becoming a father yes. or with impending fatherhood or becoming the head of a household or a family, that would be a lot easier to answer. Mm-hmm. But the pregnancy portion, I think, is really hard. But I think it's a totally legitimate question, though, because I do believe, especially, I, I posed this same question, you guys, I mean, literally six months ago. Why? Yeah, it was only three months ago. But about why isn't it affecting him? I, I think it's being right. newlyweds and being new to a relationship that's so solidified, you want them, you. You're on the same page so often that you want to be able to be on the same so page. So rolling my eyes. I saw it. <laughs> you want you want to see it, but so it's a totally valid question to me. But you kind of have to give up the ghost a little bit yeah. and recognize that they have a completely different agenda than you do. And and when you leave and cleave, yeah, it doesn't mean 
I have pain, you should feel my pain. <laughs> that's not what it means. That's yeah. codependency and it's a whole other ball of wax. Yeah. That's not healthy. You know, they can walk you through things, but it doesn't mean that emotionally they have to feel everything that you're feeling. And also doesn't mean that you have to speak everything that you're feeling, especially oh, for really? women. <laughs> yeah, because guys are like, okay, now I'm on a verbal <laughs> overload. Like, I've listened to my 12,000 words, and now you're on your 36,000th word, yeah. and all I hear is wah, 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 yeah. wah, and you're like, why don't you listen to me? I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Love that, though. I love that my beautiful husband was here to help you with that answer. <laughs> uh, we appreciate you sending us your questions. Um, it really does help us think outside the box. And we love talking them over and thinking about it. For sure. Um, we hope you check out our website, www.inbetweenfriends.com. Please like our video here and become a subscriber to our channel at YouTube. <laughs> okay, I just had to give you a visual. Um, Jeff is making us chicken for dinner. And, and burning it current, smoke currently. In the kitchen. <laughs> so sorry. I kept looking off like I so excited, like, oh my gosh. Might be evacuation. <laughs> Become a subscriber, like our videos. We like you. We hope that you're doing well. We hope that you have these fabulous relationships surrounding you. Say bye, babe. Bye. <laughs> Talk Take to you later. Care.